Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Glenn Havumaki of Wallingford. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus as we gather for another occasion to think about God's Word during this National Nursing Home Week in May or Older Adult Month. I'm Glenn Havomacki, and I'm glad that you've joined me again today. Psalm 27, verse 4 is where we'll spend the rest of the week. Listen as I read from the King James translation. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. One thing, this one thing have I desired of the Lord, proclaims the psalmist. An example of prayer, seeking God's will for a legacy, not just a legend. He wanted to be known for godly character, not just continuous actions that characterized his life. He wanted his life to matter from the inside out. Peter, the disciple, must also have prayed and asked the Lord to show him what was important regarding legacy in the last years of his life. These things of Second Peter 1, 5 through 15 became his one thing that he wanted to characterize his older years of life. Faith, virtue, knowledge, self-control, perseverance or patience, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. Eight Steps to Purposeful Living In the following verses, five times he mentions the benefits of finishing well with these things. If they are a part of our life, we will neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of Jesus Christ, short-sighted or blind to the cleansing blood of Jesus, never stumble, and have an abundant entrance into heaven. He then says that he will always remind those around him of these things as an example to stir them up until his last breath and even after he's gone to heaven. He wanted a good finish, as did David. In Acts 13.36, we read, For David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell asleep, was buried with his fathers, David did what was good in God's will until he breathed his last. Peter's desire and last word to his readers in 2 Peter 3.18 was but grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why? The last phrase says it all. To him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. Yes, that we should live for his glory. God calls each of us, regardless of age, to live purposeful lives, to live faithful lives, to finish well. Warren Wearsby includes in the Song of the Midlife Crisis a quote from F.B. Meyer in which he said to a friend, I do hope my father will let the river of my life go flowing until fully finished. Then the saintly old British preacher added, I don't want it to end in a swamp. When we are on the downward side of the bell curve of living on this earth, we should strive to live and serve significantly so that when we cross what I like to term the bridge of eternal significance, from our life experience to life eternal, we will do so prepared to meet Jesus and with a remembrance that will be a blessing to those left behind not so much for what we did, but for who we were as a Christ follower. The memory of the righteous is a blessing, says Proverbs 10, verse 7a. This one thing have I desired of the Lord. Amen and amen. You've been listening to Pastor Glenn Havumaki of Wallingford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.